What's up, everybody? Welcome back to a little streamy stream action. I'm messing around with this Motion Blue version 5 RetroPie image. Mess around, check out some games and whatnot. I don't know. Just figured, hey, I haven't streamed in a while. Might as well get on and play around with this image. So let's do this. What's up, guys? Wolf Momo Slappy. Appreciate y'all stopping in. Today I am using wired Xbox 360 controller. I'm pretty, uh, pretty standard stuff, you know? A lot of people like using this controller for the Pi. But, it, you know, a lot of times I do use 8-bit, though, as well. But today, just for easy use, because I set this up with the 360 controller, that's what I'm going to use. Airy, a uh, MAME FBA attract mode build. I mean, that's simple enough. Like, th if I did, like, it would be the same setup as this, just minus everything else. Like, if, if you know, like this, if I were to just take all the systems off and just leave the, the arcade games, then that would be in, you know, and then just leave all these collections, because it would be, let me see, I think there's 2,672 games as far as arcade goes, um, I've gone through this list quite a bit, kind of messing around with stuff. So I really like arcade. That's that's mostly what I do. If you did a barcade or cab, would it strictly be arcade? Yep. I don't I, like. I might do a video at some point showing my my retro gaming collection. I don't know how much of an interest there would be in that, but um, console gaming is a big thing for me um but you know retro super nintendo nintendo all that kind of stuff i play those on the actual systems or clone systems you know carts real you know original controllers stuff like that i know i've talked about that a lot but doing a setup i prefer just arcade for myself um console games mostly i play on consoles unless there's some cool hacks and homebrews and stuff like that. I definitely check that stuff out on the Pi. Um, you know, and then, you know, sometimes, too, the Pi comes in handy because I'll discover games that I never heard of before. Or somebody will say, hey, you got to check this out on the NES or Super Nintendo. And I check it out, and I'm like, what? I needs to get me that. But, yeah, I, I love retro gaming on consoles. Geared towards four by three. No, I mean, I know people people like that, but to have a wider usage, I, I like to to keep it to you know 1080p, and then you know you could the console set up to core four by three and use bezels and stuff like that. Do all PS1 games run fine on the Pi Zero? I don't think so. I have not done extensive testing on the Pi Zero with PS1 games, but it can play quite a few of them decently, but a lot of them doesn't play as well as you would hope. Um, it, it's it's just a mixed bag. If, you, if, you're, if you're in the PS1 gaming on the Pi, definitely stick to the Pi 3, in my opinion. Let's check out what's in Arcade Classics. I've gone through this so many times. The Raspberry Pi is the best thing to me. It introduced me to the best and finest retro games. Yeah. I mean, it re-exposes you to stuff that either you had back in the day um, or, you know, you weren't exposed to or maybe you had a friend that had it or you heard of a game. Definitely makes things a lot easier to, to play. Let me see. You were talking about Super Back to the Future. Why does everybody keep bringing that game up? We played it on a stream before. And it's, to me, it's very generic. It's not bad, but it's kind of generic, in my opinion. And I think I watched somebody's video the other day, or a week or two ago, that said it like stayed true to the movie. It does not stay true to the movie at all. <laughs> I mean, it's fun, but 
I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's on, on this. Should be. Is there like a different Japanese name for it or is it just um, super back to the future? I don't want to like, oh, there it is. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what's my email? My email's madlittlepixel at gmail.com. Um, right now I'm, I'm messing around with motion blue, attract mode, motion blue, but I, I do like emulation station quite a bit more as of late because there's so many guys working on stuff for emulation station. Can you do a quick video on how to set up Bluetooth controllers? Um, I'm like, what kind of Bluetooth controllers? Cause I know I've done videos on Bluetooth controllers before. I know ETA prime has videos on, on that. Drew talks has videos. Like everybody's got videos on setting up Bluetooth controllers, but if there's a specific one that you're having an issue with, I could definitely check it out. Let's see if I could play this game. What's up. F was retro retro Riz spooky. Alfred AVGN got the game popular. I, I just know I, I, I checked this out. PS3, I do, yeah, that's been a big one that a lot of people have asked me about. And I do not have any PS3 controllers. Um, how exactly can you make a theme on Emulation Station? That's a whole big thing. Um, you, you know, there's, there's a lot of little stuff involved with that. But a lot of people just take other people's themes and just edit the... Uh, the graphics to make them their own, which there's no issue with that. Um, but as far as making one from scratch, I don't, I don't mess with that kind of stuff. Those, you know, in my Facebook group, if you join my Facebook group, there are a lot of theme creators in there. I do mean a lot. Um, and definitely if you're in the group, you can ask about that kind of stuff. And some people would be more than glad to help, but I have never, made a theme so I don't really have a you know too much experience with that other than editing themes I've, I've definitely done that before what do you uh, full screen mode um as far as are you talking about the aspect ratios on games or I just, I've played this before, but I always find it funny. I think it was RGT85 had said something about this game, staying true to the movie, and I just kind of laughed. I was like, I've played through this, and this is not true to the movie. It's okay game, but to me, it's just, it's kind of generic. It's just the same thing over and over again. The boss fights are all right, but the levels are just over and over. It's just, I don't know. It's all right, I guess. I'm going to turn the volume up. I cannot hear my. Oops. I'm over here hitting the mouse. If you go in the video settings, there's an option to enable full screen. I have not messed with that yet. I know what you're talking about, though. I mean, one way to, you know, if you can't find help with, with working on a theme, I mean, one thing you could do is take a theme that's already out there, dismantle it, see what they did, how they set it up, you know, get a little better idea, you know, do a little Google searching on some of the uh, the theme maker forums and, and stuff like that. But that's, that's one way to do it for sure. Oh, that little punk. I mean, I'm not knocking anybody, but I mean, I don't understand why this game is so popular other than that the other Back to the Future game sucked. And this one's like, all right. What's up, Mike Van Meteren? Lazi, what up? I'm like sucking at this game. I don't know. I don't know why. I think it's because I'm not really paying attention. Mm 
It's all about the hoverboard. Uh. Crap, what am I doing? I'm like walking in the stuff like an idiot. I have not messed with the orange pie yet. I was going to get one. Man, I'm going to exit out of this game and find something else. Um, I was going to mess with the orange pie, but I just never, never bothered. And then, like, the banana pie people. I don't know. Has anybody here used the banana pie before? Because the company that makes the banana pie, they're always putting comments on my videos. Like, every video that I put out. The banana pie people go onto my videos and, and like spam um, links to go buy a banana pie. And they're just blocked from my channel. They can't post on my channel, but they don't realize that. And I tell them, I'm like, look, if, if you want me to, to look at your, your banana pie, just send me one. And, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll post a video. But don't just spam my, my channel because it's not showing up anyway. But has anybody used a banana pie? I mean, I'm, I've heard of it before, but I just never really checked into it. I just know the people that run the company are always posting on my videos and I told them, "Hey, send me one, and I'll check it out." But otherwise, you're not getting any any uh advertising through the comments cuz you're posting links and they're just automatically flagged as spam. Oh, I don't think this is the newest Star Fox 2. That's one thing I forgot to change on here. Danny, what up? I've eaten a banana pie. Yeah, same thing. I mean, I've just stuck to the, the pie three. I mean, I haven't really messed with anything else. I messed with the um, the, Ace, the Asus Tinker Board for a little bit. Um, but, you know, there's not a lot of support, so I just gave up on it. But I haven't messed with anything else. Momo Slappy, yeah, a lot of people are asking about that. It's kind of a stupid story. I might do a video on that um, at some point. TurboGrafx CD. I have a whole bunch of TurboGrafx CD games, but I have to go through and test them. I'm still looking for a Dracula X that I can get to work because I've tried several versions and it does not work. Like they never boot up and I have the proper, you know, the, the BIOS and all that kind of stuff. Um, R2 Henley, what up? John Sheriff, what's up, dude? Um, but what was I going to say? Yeah, I'm still I'm trying to find a Dracula X or whatever it's called in Japanese for the TurboGrafx CD or PC Engine CD. And I cannot find one that, that boots up for me. Bonk's Big Adventure. Frost Aurora, no problem. I've peeped out your channel already, man. New emulation software just dropped on the Orange Pie. Hmm. Um, this one has it's a lot of different sets. I mean, there's a lot of people putting images out there. Um, a lot. Dude, eighty four. You're an you're an idiot. Oh, crap. Motion blue over hyper pie. I think there's benefits to both. Um, they're definitely both good. Um, hyper pie, if you get the hyper pie base, it has like, m you know, most of the artwork for everything and the game lists for everything. Um, and it's pretty much drag and drop other than, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's been so many people who've been, you know, it's it is what it is. I don't care. We're talking about uh, Raspberry Pi gaming here, but um, Hyper Pi, Hyper Pi, and Motion Blue—they're almost essentially the same thing. But the Hyper Pi base does have the artwork for everything. The game lists are pretty good. I mean, they both share the same game list, from what I understand. Um, you know, depending upon your list, if you have you know games that don't match up. Then you may have to uh, you may have to edit the game list or the ROM files stuff like that. But I mean, both of them are good. HyperPi, uh, you know, I would have to overclock just for the the uh, theme to actually uh, 
<laughs> to, for the theme to actually, you know, be smoother. It's a little sluggish, and I think Motion Blue is a lot smoother just because it's more simple. Patreon's the the best way to go, in my opinion. Not not forcing anybody, but definitely if you want to show support, Patreon is the way to go. But it's your choice. What up, Castlemania Games? Oh crap, what am I supposed to do? That's the plan for the XU4. So, I mean, back to Motion Blue and, and Hyperspin. Um, what was I saying? It's up to personal preference. I like them both. I, I You know, I'm not going to knock either one. It's just going to depend on your style. Taste is subjective as far as uh, the looks go. LOL, man, what up? RC from the NYC. What's up, man? Glad to see you in here. Oh, crap. Let me get out of that. Let me get out of that. <sighs> Does anybody ever remember playing Buster Brothers in the arcade? That was always like... There was this... Um, back in the day, there was this... Not an arcade, but it was like a Chinese, uh, Asian grocery store. Um, and they always had like... A couple Neo Geo cabs and then like maybe some other random cabinet in the front of the store and I remember one of the systems they always had Buster Brothers on it and I'd always go and play it it was between this and playing um geez why why am I drawing a blank they always they had tons of stuff uh oh uh uh, uh Blood Brothers that was the one they always had Blood Brothers in this game and then one of the other machines would always rotate like every like maybe six months or so EMC costs more than the board. <laughs> yeah. I haven't updated a track mode, so I'm not I'm not sure. Puff puff. Yeah, I got this this new mod that a lot of people were ranting and raving about. For those of you who vape or you know don't care, either way, it's all good. Um, the pulse, whatever it's called, the the by Vandy Vape, it's just a mechanical squonk box essentially. But I'm getting used to it. I haven't vaped like that in a long time. Yeah, pang, super pang. Furman B, you know, I've set up Launchbox with, um, I'm over here getting hit instead of playing. Um, I've messed with Launchbox, but not a lot. I haven't really done anything crazy with it yet. What flavor of juice? It's a um, strawberry pina colada. It's not my normal one that I vape, but it's doing it for me. It's fine for now. Oh, 
Oh, we'll look at the PSX games in a second. Yeah, very girly. <laughs> For sure. Should make a version. That would be funny if they did a, um, a little, little graphics hack. Get over here. Oh, my God. Stepped on that right when I couldn't use it for anything. Boom. Those overlays on the um, swine apple, that's everything on there is uh, Phil's Doodles stuff. So if you like the work on there, check out Phil's Doodles channel. What up, David Marty? Oh, my God. See, I looked away to say what's up, and I got killed. But, yeah, like I was saying, if you like the, the overlays and stuff that are on the swine apple stuff, definitely go peep out. Phil's Doodles channel. So that's all his work. Very awesome work, in my opinion. Ah, oh, that's pointless. I mean, it's it's not point. Oh shoot! Oh crap! See now that was that was good timing. Try flying racing drones. What up, country Cletus? Oh come on. Dang it. As soon as okay, well I was gonna say as soon as I die, we're gonna go check out the PS1 games. All those, um, like, in television, stuff like that, I'm not very familiar with. Um, I don't think I have television on here. But this, there's only 15 games on this. I'm going to expand upon that, though. But for now, I just got a... Uh, your battery's dying faster than it's charging. Um, the PS1 stuff, the, the Castlevania Symphony of the Night, the Chronicles game... Um, Chocobo Racing, Crash Bandicoot, Die Hard, Final Fantasy. What were you saying? Mario Brothers Sound still doesn't work. That's on any emulator. What are you talking about? Um, you just got to make sure you have... You got to make sure you have the... Uh, you have to make sure you have the, uh, the samples, the MAME 2003 samples. And the Street Fighter Alpha, uh, EX Alpha, EX Alpha Plus 2. Symphony of Night is there. Tomb Raider, Tomba, Brave Fencer, Musashi. Just a small selection. David Marty's been building his virtual pinball machine. That's something that I want to get into at some point. Definitely would love to. Don't have the money for it, though. But yeah, just a very small collection of PlayStation games. I think the same thing with Dreamcast, but those are going to be expanded on later on. Motion black stealth mode. <laughs> I don't know how that would work visually. I mean, I guess uh, everything would have to have like white highlights, white font. Yeah, everything is appreciated from David Marty. And like I said in my other video, I remember downloading this, Motion Blue version 5, way back when he released it. And then I just never messed with it because there were so many people doing awesome stuff in an emulation station. And now it was just like, you know what, it's time. I need to, I need to check this out. 
check this out and go back to a track mode for a little bit and see what to do there. What was I looking for? Dreamcast. Yeah, there's only... Oops, don't want to exit. Pabst is here. Let's end the show. Jen, Jen Slin, Jen Slin, 87. Um, I used to smoke cigarettes for a long time. Um, and this is the only way that I quit smoking cigarettes. What's in vape or vape juice is just vegetable glycerin. I have nicotine and flavoring. Um, so you're going to have some propylene glycol, vegetable glycerin, um, and nicotine. Now, I'm not going to get into a big debate on all those you know, those three chemicals, um, but three chemicals versus the thousands or hundreds, whatever's in a cigarette, I'd much rather have this than a cigarette, but it's been a long time since I've smoked a cigarette, so this is what has helped me quit. And it's just, I only have a very small amount of nicotine in there. Typically with stuff like that, um... <laughs> Motion MLP. <laughs> um, nicotine is is definitely addictive. It can boost your blood pressure, but it's not a carcinogenic chemical. It's actually natural. It's in some of our foods we eat. It's from tobacco and whatnot. And there are some health benefits to nicotine, and you know certain you know scientific studies. And cigarettes, it's all the other stuff that causes you issues. So it's definitely better to be off of that and do this instead. Um, at some point I might be done with it completely, but it's been a long time. It's going to look for Neo Geo. Why do I not know this game? And why does the video look wonky? Yes, I'm definitely looking forward to the Super NT. Hopefully that bad boy shows up in February like they said. Um, I pre-ordered mine the day they put it up. I'm getting a clear black one. Looks pretty sick in my opinion. Definitely love it. Can't wait. Right now, I'm, I mean, I'm not using this right now. Obviously, I'm on the Pi. But I do really want a solid HD Super Nintendo. And this is the one that I've been... You know, I did a video on this the other day. Um... The uh, Gamers Tech HD Super Nintendo works pretty good, looks pretty good, but I seriously cannot wait to see how that Super NT works out, which I'm sure it's going to be solid. The Retro Fighters controller soon, we're, we're going to get those in about February or so, um, which I can't wait for that either, but it's still going to be a little while. See the N64 HDMI hack? Do you mean the mod? If you're talking about the mod, I do have an HDMI modded Nintendo 64. If you're talking about the Ultra HDMI, I do have one. Yeah, the Ultra HDMI Nintendo 64, pretty much all the Nintendo 64 games that I had posted about or streamed back, you know, a few months ago, they were all on the uh, the modded Nintendo 64. Um, it looks great, very expensive, and they're going up in price. Like, people are charging, like, crazy prices for them now, you know, for, for pre-modded ones. Even for people who mod them. You know, as a service, they're charging quite a bit more than they did a few months ago. So I don't know what the, you know, why the the change in value on that has gone up. But they are charging out the ass recently for Ultra HDMI modding services or for pre-modded systems. What's the best platform board to set up for emulation? It's all going to be up to you if you're talking about front ends or computers. If, you know, 
everybody loves the Raspberry Pi because it's cheap and it accomplishes quite a bit for its cost. Why did I run right into that? You know, with the, the Pi, you know, you've got classic gaming up through the early 2000s as far as arcade stuff goes. But as far as consoles go, you're only really getting up to, to PlayStation 1 with really good compatibility. Dreamcast is kind of a mixed bag. Nintendo 64 is a mixed bag. Um, you know, stuff like that. So a lot of people love Retro Pi playing on the Raspberry Pi. PC emulation, obviously, is going to be heck of a lot better, but more pricey depending upon how you're looking at it. it it's Jenslin. Um, it could most likely be um, the emulator. A lot of people will mess around with uh, a lot of settings, like, you know, the, the resolution and stuff like that. For me, I don't. I just I just use um, I just use a specific emulator and I test them. Let me see. I don't want to boot up Mario because it'll just uh, <clears throat> Nintendo will claim the video. Um, and I did. I missed it earlier, but RC from the NYC. I appreciate that super chat, bro. Definitely appreciate that. Sorry, I missed that. I don't know if Star Wars is on here. It probably is, but I'd have to check. But what were we looking for? We were looking for Nintendo 64. I wanted to check something real quick. I don't have my keyboard attached, so I don't know if... Uh... Dang it. What up, Death Thrones? Mmm. I need to I need to grab my keyboard so I could check something. Oops. And I'll tell you what emulator I've been using anyway. I don't have my controls set up, so I can't even play this game anyway. But let me just, let me get in here so I can show you. So I'm using Moopin64 Plus, the GLES2 Rice. That's the one I use on, um, that's the one I use on most, on all the Nintendo 64 on here. But there's definitely other options that you can go through. I think I either use that or I use, um... I've used Glide. It just depends on the game, but for now, this is what this is the one that I've been using. So maybe check that out. Um, <laughs> it costs people their jobs, but yeah, definitely check out this emulator and see if that works for your 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 game that you're using. The Moopin 64 Plus G L E S. I don't know if that's Gless Two Rice, but whatever. You see what I'm saying? But definitely check that out. Spider-Man Arcade working. Um, somebody somebody sent me the 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 ROM, um, and it worked. After I tried like, forget how many versions I tried, but I tried a bunch on a. Um, I wanted to exit this game actually because I don't have my controls set up. I tried a bunch on a stream previously, and I couldn't get it to work. And then somebody was like, "Hey, you need to try this one." And I tried it, and boom, it worked. I'm pretty sure it was MAME 2003. Aerie, you shouldn't lose any of your configs, but depending upon what is updated, some things could change as far as compatibility.
you know, I never played Zombies Ate My Neighbors on the Sega Genesis. I had it on the Super Nintendo. There's probably no differences, right? I mean, I'm sure there might be some graphic differences, possibly. Do you guys prefer 8 bit dough controllers or iBuffalo controllers? I prefer 8 bit dough, but on a budget. If I didn't have 8 bit dough controls out the butt, um, and, you know, I didn't have money to buy one because, you know, they're actually, this version and the, the US version of these are, are discontinued. They're going to be replaced with the new ones that come out in February. As far as the Bluetooth ones go, um, and then the 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 Pro version with the analog sticks, the new version comes out in what like a week and a half. Um, it, it just depends on you know the cost. The new one with the sticks is going to be fifty bucks, um, and the I believe the new versions of these are thirty five something like that. So no, you know, not bad, but. You know, when you're paying more for a controller than your Pi, you got to look at that as an investment. If you want to put the money and you're serious about playing the games, then yeah, get a get an eight bit though. <sighs> Rescue the neighbors. Is there an adapter out there to use the SNES Classic? I don't know. There might be. See, now, with this being on Sega Genesis, I don't know the controls. I'm used to the Super Nintendo version using the X and the Y to alternate between your weapons. Or your items, anyway. And this is like, the layout's different. I never played this on the Sega. I'd never... Because all this information is on your screen... And you press a button to bring up your your map. So this they 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 took up screen real estate, I guess, to put all that information on the side instead of on the top, and to keep the the map on there without having to press a button. This is uh, I mean, it's the same game, but just kind of weird. I never knew that. What up, Dwayne? So this is already, you know, a little different of an experience. It doesn't have different levels or anything, I wouldn't imagine. That's, I don't know if I like this or dislike this. Hmm. Interesting. Retro Riz, if you put... <laughs> If you put an image on your Pi, and if everything worked the way you wanted it to work, and you, you, you know, if you don't update it, it'll always work. The problem comes to when you do update stuff, and there becomes new compatibility issues. So that could be an, a problem. I always say if you're not into building or tinkering and you have an image that works for you and everything functions the way you want it and you're happy, just leave it alone. That's that's the way I look at it. If you have something that works for you and you don't want to tinker with it or change things up or do anything you just want to game, leave that image the way it is. That's That's my opinion. But for me, I screw around and tinker with these things more than... Uh, more than I ever um, play, mostly. So I'm always updating and seeing what's what's new has been added or what fixes are out there. But then, like with that, if you know, updating Mame and FB Alpha, sometimes the ROM sets will change, and then you'll lose compatibility and have to go through and test stuff, get new ROM sets, or change emulators, um, all that. Jenslin was. Was saying about the ghosting or the ghost inputs on the iBuffalo. I have heard of that and I think I experienced that like once, but that was a long time ago. Um, but I think you would get like where things would just keep scrolling and you're not even pressing the buttons or the D pad.
Wolf, that's exactly what I was going to be doing. Or, I mean, I already have the sets. I just need to transfer them over, but I figured it would double the, the image size. At, you know, at minimum, it would it would double the, uh, the image size. Because I didn't really look at it. I just had everything, but some stuff needed to be fixed and changed. So I figured down the road, I'll do a another version. Do I play any Nintendo, Nintendo DS games? Not on the Pi, I don't. On an actual Nintendo DS, yeah. Or at least on the um, the uh, 3DS. Wait, where the heck is the last person at? I don't see him on the map. <laughs> Place the DS on the toilet exactly. I've been playing Metroid Samus Returns, um, and I've been meaning to um, for the longest time start playing Dragon Quest Seven because Dragon Quest Seven was one of my favorite Dragon Quest games. Um, and I've had it on the 3DS since it launched, and I never even opened it. And I have eight as well. I have all the Dragon Quests on the DS and the 3DS, but been really meaning to play Dragon Quest Seven. Haven't gotten around to it, but currently I am playing here and there Metroid Samus Returns. Nomad Gamers sub me. I mean, if if I was next to you, I'd you know, if you were really hungry, I'd buy you a sub, bro. Get you a get you a subway sandwich. It's a twenty four hour subway across the street from me. Go over there and get a sandwich whenever I want. I'll get you a sub. The PS4 controller is the best for the pie. But that's, I mean, I'm, oh, here's the last guy. Look at this guy. But the, the only thing, well, the PS4 controllers were on sale. They probably still are on sale. Um, Subway is way too much bread. <laughs> um... The the PS4 controllers for what forty bucks Black Friday Cyber Monday deals and stuff like that. What's my day job? My day job is um, <laughs> Jimmy John's brings that. <laughs> they just barely started opening Jimmy John's around here. I've never been yet. Um, but my day job, I just man, I just side hustle. Do whatever I can. I do. I, I know I've talked about it before, but a lot of times I do um, kind of like secret shopping and stuff like that, audits and, and weird things like that for side money. Um, sometimes it can be fun. Sometimes it's annoying. Um, but you can you can bring in some money if you don't if you want to work for yourself. Doing that, you know, independent contractor type stuff definitely helps out. Um, what's the other sub place? Firehouse subs opened up, and I think it's like one of the worst places I've ever been. Um, yeah, I'm Batman. Can't talk about that shit. Sorry, cheerleader. But yeah, no, I do like independent contract stuff. Weird, weird little things. Um, but a lot of times I try to put in as much time as I can doing videos and planning videos and, you know, working on projects, stuff like that. But as far as being employed, I am not employed by anyone. I'm an independent person. I here's the thing with uh, <laughs> this guy wants wants people to subscribe to him, bro. I mean, if you wanna if you wanna be in the the the, the chat, that's cool. But if you're just gonna be here mooching for for subscribers, come on, man. I've never gone into people's videos saying subscribe to me, subscribe, subscribe, and I'll subscribe back. Like that's just not the way to do it, man. Like seriously, you go on your you go on your timeout, man. Go on your timeout. Why can't I put him in a timeout? Oh, he was banned. <laughs> he was he was double smacked around. Firehouse subs. My wife kept telling me it was good. And then I went there, and I'm a big boy, man. Like if you're gonna give me a child size sandwich, that's not cool, bro. A child a child size sandwich. 
for man sized prices, I do not agree with that. And that's how I felt going to Firehouse. I got a child sized sandwich for a man sized price. I was very disappointed. So the taste, the quality, none of that mattered to me. It was the price that I paid for such little food that pissed me off. <laughs> I don't know if that has changed. I don't know, but I was very disappointed going to Firehouse. Nerdfly, the HP bar is just a stupid little thing. Just uh, It's a little interaction. If people subscribe... Um, if they donate stuff like that, it attacks the stream boss and then you take over and you're the stream boss. It's just a goofy little thing. Really means nothing. Just kind of neat to, to have there. I might eventually take it off cause it is pointless, but it's just kind of funny to see who, who destroyed the stream boss. I think there's other ways of utilizing that little health bar, but I haven't really dug into it. Um, because when I got access to it, it was very minimal, but I, Kind of thought it was funny, so left it on there. Jersey Mike's. I've been to Jersey Mike's a few times, but they're kind of they're kind of pricey for me. But any of these sandwich places are kind of expensive nowadays. But you know, I know I got what I paid for there was was well worth it. Just haven't been there in a long time. A relaxing voice. I don't know if I have a relaxing voice. There's plenty of YouTubers out there that do have uh, that 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 voice of gold that just works and i've never thought i've never thought i had a a voice like that <laughs> something to aspire to <laughs> you looked at the 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 kid, the kid that was asking to subscribe i i figured you know you know if he was in here you know like there was another kid you know that was actually putting out some good content and he, he pops in here and there uh apple device pro you know he's a youngster not not that old or not that young i mean but you know he never was in here begging or anything you know he might have brought it up once like hey you know i'm i'm looking for subscribers but he was active in our streams he was active on our channel so it was like you know what let me you know try to give the little kid a shout out i mean he's not a little kid but you know what i'm saying give the Give the youngster a shout out because he's doing some quality work. But, you know, if you're just begging for subscribers, that's not really the way to go about it. Yeah, Apple Device Pro, he's, you know, he, you know, I think he's pretty busy lately. He uploaded a little while back. But he's somebody, you know, so there's no hate there. It's just, you know, if you're active on the channel and you're not begging, man, I'll, you know, I'll try to take care of you the best I can. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm trying to figure out how you switch the weapons. Subway's good if you do double meat. <laughs> I think I had a um, the the uh, the Reuben that they just put out, and I was kind of disappointed in it. And I got a foot long, and it was like twelve bucks. I was like, dang, man. He's like, no, I don't want to go in the water. Don't want to go in the water. A salad with double meats. That's what I'm talking about. This guy's like, mm-mm, mm-mm. All right, now we can go back in there. I mean, I probably should be eating a salad instead of a sandwich, but hey. They screwed up the Reuben. When I when I ordered it, I ordered it online and I picked it up. And the guy was like, oh, your sandwich is cold. I didn't know if you want to heat it up. And I was like, the frick, man? Like, it was corned beef. And I was like, man, that's got to be, you know, it's got to be heated up, man. I don't want a cold-ass sandwich. Quiznos all but closed down around where I'm at. They, like, don't exist anymore. Buffalo chicken salad with extra. <laughs> there you go. I was going to say if it has like, I don't know. I'm not really big into buffalo. How do I change my freaking weapon, man? Oh, it's because I don't have any water gun left. That's why. 
Oh, I'm going up the wrong way. Oh my god. Oh no. That baby's a goner. <laughs> I wouldn't pay anybody. You can you can you know watch videos and tutorials and and figure things out pretty well. I wouldn't pay anybody to learn it. I mean, there's plenty of resources out there. Plenty of them. Oh my god. Toasted baby new sandwich at Subway. I really gotta, I really gotta discover some some hidden Sega Genesis treasures because I wasn't a big Genesis person, so I obviously know all the the classics, but I know there's some hidden gems out there I gotta, I gotta learn about. For sure. Go back to the CD. See what was else. I don't know if this. I don't know why I put Dungeon Master on here. I don't think this is that great a game. Probably. Forgotten Worlds. I think you mentioned that before, and I never played it. I was supposed to do a stream on that, I think. Gunstar Heroes, I'm very familiar with. Oh, I'm like going like super fast through this. Dang it. I should have set up my my buttons or my little uh controls a little differently to skip through stuff. There was a Donald Duck game on the Sega Genesis I remember really liking. Can't remember what it was called. Return Fire. Never played it. Quack Shot. That's it. Forgotten Worlds. Not on here. Might have to look that up. Yeah, Quackshot was the one. I remember paying a little bit of money for that game. I love Quackshot. There's Gunstar Heroes. Gunstar Heroes was a lot of fun. I never overclock my pie. I mean, I've messed with it, but I don't... None of the pies I work on or, or play on are overclocked. RHCEV. I'm not sure how to say your username. I know what you're. I know what you. You know, I could. I can understand what you're saying. And you know, I can definitely help you out the best I can. I mean, I don't, I don't want to charge you to help you out, nothing like that. But I, you know, I have resources on my, my videos and stuff like that. Um, but if you were more specific on what it is you want to know and learn, you can shoot me an email, madlittlepixel@gmail.com. I can see what I could do for you. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to charge you like you're saying. You're looking to pay somebody. Um, and my Facebook group as well. There's a lot of. Uh, resources and help there oh there you go <laughs> red hat certified engineer 
V6. What was this released on besides the uh, Genesis? Like, it was re-released. I think it was re-released um, on, what, the Game Boy Advance? Or the DS or something? I'm always so lost like uh, it's not that I'm lost but like when you play us when I play a system that the controller was quite different than the controller I am using I'm always confused like if I'm playing Super Nintendo or NES using an Xbox controller I'm fine but a system like this where you either had three face buttons or six face buttons even if I look and I configure them the way I want it I still am confused because it's just not natural to me which is why I was I was doing a Sega Genesis or not Sega Genesis but a Sega only setup before or working on one and then just you know having a pie set up with Sega Genesis controllers which at some point I really was into that like let me make a pie for every system or every section of systems type of thing but then I've kind of kind of like I don't want to have that many pies lying around Sarah Thomas what's up Yeah, I mean, if you if um, this was Sega's Contra, yep. Red Hat, yeah, I mean, like Dust, Dust on Dustin. Sarah, you're. I sleep very well. <laughs> Not this stuff again, really. I sleep very well, mind you. Later, Tony King. Appreciate you stopping in. Troll's gonna troll. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. It's annoying. A lot of a lot of people with mis mis uh, misinformation, or they wanna they wanna perceive things a certain way. You know, it is what it is. Where, where, how am I selling anything? <laughs> Guys are ridiculous with that. But that's exactly like what I said. Um, misguided misinformation. People want to perceive things a certain way. And that's fine. <laughs> I'm not selling anything. So it, it's there's a group of people who dislike that I do YouTube videos or that, you know, people give me donations or, you know, Patreon or anything like that. And they, they don't, they don't get it, which is fine. I'm not sitting here selling anything. <laughs> you know, you make YouTube ad revenue, people donate to you. You're a bad person. <laughs> and I don't make very much money at it either. Just like uh pap said, <laughs> Mm. 
you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion, so it doesn't really bother me. But when people are constantly saying I'm profiting off of, you know, there it is what it is. Like I said, people, they can think or feel, have their own opinions. Doesn't bother me whatsoever. I, I don't know what's going on either, Country Cletus. I've been confused about that stuff for the past year. With people just, you know, like I said, they're going to think and feel the way they want, which is fine. The, you know, whatever. Awkward stud muffin. <laughs> it's, I guess, dude. I guess. Mediterranean mud cake. Does Save State work on Atari Twenty Six Hundred? I've not. Um, I've not tried it, so I don't know. What is it? Is it giving you an error message at the bottom of the screen when you do it, or? <laughs> no, they. It's you know. People. People just don't like that. You know, you know, it is what it is. Pac Man fever. There's, I'm, there's, you could tell by the look in my eyes, my, my very tired eyes. No, I'm not doing anything wrong, and I don't feel like I'm doing anything wrong. Um, but like I said, that's your opinion. You can have that. I've done plenty of wrong things in my life, for sure, but, you know, whatever garbage that these people keep referring to, no. <laughs> on Atari 20s, did I pass Atari? Let me see. I haven't even played Atari on this. Let me peep it out. Let me see. I've never, you know, I don't even think I've ever tested Atari games so much on an image. Uh, what was I going to say? Robert, pretty soon, man. Pretty soon. <laughs> no, that you could you could see it in my eyes, but it's all good. So you said, what is it? Okay, let me. Smurfs on Atari. Yep. It kicks me out of the game. Back to the game list. Are you using? Um, Save it kicks me out of the game. Yeah, it just kicked me out of the game as well. <laughs> I'm not sure with that. I don't ever use save states. I wasn't going to say I love ET, but I did have ET back in the day.
what is the load state is four and five now i don't know what the hell that is on the controller okay would probably rather have that Man, see, it's saying something up there, but I couldn't see it. Do we just not have save states on the 2600? Huh. Not quite yet, R2. Not quite yet. XO256. Yup. I wonder why it's saved. Why doesn't it? Where did Mediterranean Mud Cake go? Is that on every like image that you've used? Or is this just recently? I wonder why. Mm. Oh, damn. Go ahead, put me all the way back. I'm not quite sure why it does that. I cannot read the little thing that's showing up at the top. It's just an error, it looks like. Atari was what we had. It forced us to go outside. <laughs> it had a frustration. Mediterranean mud cake. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look into this a little more because it's doing the same thing for me. Um, is it all the games or is it just that? I mean, if it's that game, it's going to be all of them, I would imagine. Hmm. Okay, well, the save state works on this. It doesn't work on Pitfall 2. I wonder why. That's strange. So... Save state... Saving states and loading states works on this, but it does not work on Pitfall 2. Kaboom without a paddle is a travesty. I think you were the one that, that mentioned that to me. And I um I tried that and I was like, yeah, you need a paddle. Uh, I'm pretty sure Libretro Atari 2600 Stella doesn't support save states. The save states worked on, on the other pitfall. It's just not working on that game. Let's try it on this game. Okay, save states work on this. This, everything's updated on this. So I guess you're supposed to drop that on the, uh, there we go. Uh. No, well, that was not much of a cake. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. It's just it's just Pitfall Two. I wonder if there's something in one of the um, in one of the config files, possibly.
damn it. Was that a good cake? All right, this is not much of a... What the... Am I playing this game properly or am I just screwing things up? Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, I'm going to look into that more, though, because if it's working on everything except for Pitfall 2, that's making no sense. Making no sense. I wonder... Let me try another game. Porkies. No. Cubert's Cubes. Yeah, Pitfall 2 is a legit game. So I'm not sure. There might be something... Uh, <laughs> Custer's Revenge. Hmm. Not 100%. Look at that Smurfs. Smurfs rescuing Gargamel's castle. Smurfs save the day. Yeah, we need to call Atari and ask. Snoopy and the Red Baron, that's what I was looking for. understand what the heck that was I think when I I can see it in your eyes I can never tell with these games if I'm doing good or bad then I had this game as a child I just remember those little blue thing or whatever I always like wondered, is that like a root beer or, or something? <laughs> Papa Smurf. <laughs> I don't want to read that out loud. <laughs> See, like, loading and saving states in this. I wonder why it doesn't work on that one game. Ghostbusters on the C64. I've watched videos of that. Never played it, though. But it looked pretty fun.
All right, I'm done with this stupid game. <laughs> RC, appreciate you stopping in, man, from the NYC. Super graphics, only five games. Let me try this out. Ninety nine percent of Atari games suck. I mean, I know I said it in my Atari flashback video that it's it's you know, if you grew up with it, it's a little different. But even then, I grew up with the Atari twenty six hundred. Sarah, I, I don't even want to debate with anybody. I could care less because, you you know, I'm not trying to feed nobody, but, you know, the stuff you're referring to and talking to has been going on for months, and I don't care. I'm not selling anything to anybody. If I make YouTube ad revenue, if somebody donates or, or whatever, people can choose to either donate, not donate, to watch a video or not to watch a video. So I don't care. Sarah, I have three kids and a wife. I do this for fun and as part of, you know, my business and work and, you know, I'm maintaining a YouTube channel. I don't care to talk to anybody about all the little drama that you guys got going on. Hate me if you want. Love me if you'd like. I don't care. <laughs> I just don't care. That's just the way it is. So no, I don't want to talk to anybody because I've done it for months and it's just, it's pointless. It's just pointless. I've said what I want to say and that's, hey, I do YouTube videos. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch. If you don't want to donate, you don't have to. Never force anybody and that's it. That's all I got to say. There you go. I'm not selling anything. <laughs> Crazy, man. What's up, Josh? Just, God. <laughs> Izzy, appreciate it, man. I'm trying not to be mean, but it's just like it's it's the same it's the same hate and and crap that's been going on for months, and it's just like okay, <laughs> it's like that's fine, but no, I you know I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. You know, I've got a lot of videos coming up, interesting stuff. Maybe not interesting to everybody, but hey, it is what it is. Got some more Super Nintendo stuff going on. Some Raspberry Pi related products to review and showcase. You know, a lot of stuff like that. So, hey, it is what it is. I'm just sitting here playing some games that I never played before. Give a man a break. <sighs> but yeah, this has been overtaken by nonsense, but whatever. Red Hat for sure.
<laughs> go into your happy place. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Awkward stud muffin. Any chance making a video that breaks down how a setup works? I've I've done like, you know, starting from the beginning, downloading, you know, RetroPie flashing i've done i've done videos like that but i have planned on doing like a revised up-to-date version but with that you know i've done several videos that go step by step um and then even other videos that are outdated by now that talk about like attract mode and whatnot um like manually installing all that stuff but it's way out of date but I have been planning to do something again, just starting from the beginning, which it's, it's nothing is crazy, but you know, there could be a few little steps that some people miss like by chance, like, uh, like what you call it, um, you know, bios, you know, files and stuff like that. But, you know, if you just go to the retro pie, you know, website and whatnot, it's going to tell you what you need for that, you know, that kind of stuff. What's, what's needed to play certain games, and things like that like i can't guide you on like hey you know this is exactly where you can download this from i can just show you step by step on how to set it up and then from there it's just basically doing things to the way you want Uh, that's that's one of the reasons I don't I don't tend to try to argue with anybody because the way I think and feel is the way I think and feel and you're not going to persuade me any different. So I'm not going to sit there and have an argument with anybody, you know, a little one on one thing like that for no reason. Like there's I just don't care. I'm not I'm not in middle school. <laughs> Sean Rios, I'm still working on that. Um planning on doing some videos with that i know i've been saying that for a while but it's it's uh been a little hectic but definitely planning on doing some more stuff with that but no i have not had time to do a full setup yet but it is being worked on bory retro gamer what up I was like, wait, what the heck is that thing? Yeah, Papa Linus is, is pretty much, you know, correct. Like, that's the very basic thing. And I've shown that in several videos, like many others have. Download RetroPie from the RetroPie website. Make sure you have a Windisk Imager or whatever, you know, other imaging program or whatever it's called. Um, and burn it to a, a, a micro SD card. Add your ROMs, BIOS files if you need them for specific systems, because some systems do need BIOS files. Um, and then from there, it's just a ton of uh, customization to the way you want it, adding artwork, scraping artwork, or doing it manually, stuff like that. Um, so there, you know, it's a very simple process to get started but then to get deep into it to customize and do specific things then it can start getting to be a bigger thing josh that is true that is very true it's just it's it can be annoying but you know i get tons of messages every day mostly positive stuff but like you know that kind of nonsense just like come on like seriously if you don't like me, just don't don't bother me. That's it. Peace out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the hell is this? I've never tried this game.
Yeah, Sean Rios is correct. Yeah, this is a track mode. This is uh, David Marty's Motion Blue. You can download the bass from his um, channel, set it up to how you like. Very simple. Just need to add your, uh, your ROMs and artwork. Game lists are already intact, but like I said earlier, if you're using HyperPi or Motion Blue version 5, they both use, I'm pretty sure they're the same game list, but HyperPi comes with artwork, whereas Motion Blue doesn't. Um, but then it's just all dependent upon your your ROM names. Like, you have to make sure they all match up to the artwork and the game list. Like, you can have, like, if you boot up, if you boot up Attract Mode, for example, um and you added, let's say, 10 games to Sega Genesis, and they don't show up, and you're in the system on a track mode, and they don't show up, it's because they're not named the same as what's on the uh, the game list. So that's, that's the only thing. Like, most of the work is done for you, but to get everything squared away, you gotta, you got to go through and look. <laughs> oh man, see now I'm yawning just just hearing it. All right, this is not cool. Yeah, which the um, even the, the the other video that I posted, you know, looking at this, David Marty's uh, link is in the description as well, so you can peep that out if you already watched that video, or check out that link. But I do dig uh, Motion Blue quite a bit. Very awesome. Very unified theme. I mean, I would probably, um, appreciate it, Dustin. Um, at the end of the day, it's just too much stuff. All we play is, you know, it's like 1%. That is, that is true. Like if I, you know, an, an, an image for me, like, that would be optimal, would probably only have, like, maybe 100 to 200 games. Um, maybe a little more dependent, but probably a solid, like, 50 Super Nintendo games. You know, M Super Nintendo, probably a good 50. NES, the same. And then maybe, like, 100 arcade games. So maybe, like, 200 games tops. And I would be happy. I would actually... uh I would actually play quite a bit. So, yeah, like a solid setup with like 200 games of my my choice, my liking, would be something I would actually put time into and play. Whereas something like this with thousands of games, I, you know, I get lost. <laughs> I get really lost. I mean, Super Nintendo, I'd probably... You know, I would probably skip every system other than Super Nintendo and NES just because those are the systems that I'm more, you know, excited for, I guess you could say. But I would make sure I had like a solid, you know, maybe 50 is too much. Maybe it's too little. I don't know. Um, but they would be games that I would want to play. And same thing with arcade. Arcade, I would probably try to windle it down to like 100 games which would be hard because there's so many awesome arcade games, but there's definitely a ton of them I could do without, but then there's so many of them that you may discover later on that are awesome and become your new favorite. Um, so that's always a tough thing. The pie games, I want to play the games I owned as a kid. That's the same thing. The same thing for me. 
Um, it's still cool discovering new stuff, though. Is this, what is that? The heck does she have? Tron, Spy Hunter, Star Wars. Those are on like everything that that I've that I've done. But yeah. Oh, snap. Yeah, I've never played this game before, but this game is, uh, if I were actually focused on it, it would be quite fun. I mean, it is fun from what I'm playing, but I wasn't paying attention at first. Oh, I just, see, I looked away and then I died again. What the heck's going on? Oh, I didn't mean to hit the special. I remember hit the icy, yup. Definitely remember hit the ice. Ah! What the heck animal is that? I don't even know what the heck that is. Lemur, there you go. I was trying to think, like, the hell is that thing? A ferret? <laughs> it's a lemur. I was like, it's not a freaking ferret, but I couldn't think of what it was called. It's a, it's a panda. It's a lobster. I remember going to the um, the aquarium of the Pacific. We used to go there all the time. Haven't been there in a long time, but we used to go to the Aquarium of the Pacific quite a bit years ago. And I remember one time we went and there was this guy with like his kid and we were walking through this one aquarium where they had a bunch of little tanks with different, different, you know, sea life in it and whatnot. And there was ones where like, it was a bunch of different like varieties of shrimp and stuff like that. And he kept going to each one. Is that a lobster? Is that a lobster? And there would be like one with a crab, and he'd be like, "Is is that a lobster? Is is that a lobster?" <laughs> I'm just like, "What the hell's wrong with this guy?" <laughs> I'm like, "It says the name of the freaking animal right on the tank." <laughs> Appreciate it, Mike. What was this game called? Tang guy. I got to remember this one. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Got a few things to work on. Nice little, you know, drama, whatever. But then also a good time as well. Just wanted to check some stuff out. Play some games. Check out some games I never played before, which was mostly what I did here. Um, Johnny Whitmire, appreciate it, man. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff out there. But definitely appreciate it, guys. Smash that like button. Subscribe. If you don't like my channel, that's cool, too. If you don't like what I do, that's okay. 
everything's overwhelmingly positive from you guys. So I do appreciate that. With that said, guys, I will. I will catch y'all next time. Uh Uh-oh. Boom.